This morning I thought I'd do a brief demonstration showing how easy it is to integrate a VisualWorks application running on the Mac with Apple Scripts. So to get started, I'm going to go here to Bottom Feeder, which is just a running application, and I'm going to bring up a little workspace that will allow me to work with Smalltalk code. And I did this a little earlier just to test. If you go over here, and look at iTunes, you'll see that I'm not subscribed to Buzz Out Loud in iTunes, but I am subscribed to it in Bottom Feeder. So what I'm going to do is write some Smalltalk code to grab the current feed that I'm using, take the URL, and drop out an Apple script. So let's execute this code, and then in addition to dropping out the Apple script, it's going to go ahead and execute it by running this code here. So it's just treating that as an external shell script, essentially. Let's do that. We'll see the little timer there. Now, if you look carefully, you'll see that over here in iTunes, I've just subscribed to it. It changed the name and alphabetized it. And it's dutifully downloading the first episode. So that was pretty easy. It turns out that to get into AppleScript, all you really need to do is have some AppleScript in the right form and execute it as a shell script. Now, the only thing I need to show you is let's go ahead and take a look at that in an editor. So we'll go ahead and edit that. And the only kicker is you have to include this first line up here so that the Apple script will execute as a shell script. And then you can just generate these things on the fly from running application. And in fact, I think I'm going to extend my product, Bottom Feeder, to be able to do this sort of thing automatically.